in this track, let me see, towards the end of the Sean Smith vocal, I have uh, the, the beat kind of filtered down. And I did this manually. You can see all these little dots here. I'm going to just play it real quick just to give you an idea. Hit a lick on whichever side, got the cream on it like an Oreo. I just want to get a few whips like a new Benz if it's sporty though. And I'm going after that BM like the cameraman on the Moy show. Speaking of it, got your baby mom on the wing, homie, I'm on cap to you. Green Goblin, when I'm done, nigga, take your pumpkin and toss it back to you. Whoa. It's the same exact uh, automation as uh, I have set up on the YouTube one. So I'm just going to solo the YouTube version real quick. All right, we're gonna go in here. I'm just gonna delete this real quick. So this is the EQ8. You can see everything kind of moving by itself real quick. Those are just automations. Let me delete all of that, okay. Well, I'll just delete the whole EQ8 and start fresh, okay. So I'm going into audio effects. I'm going to EQ8 and you can double click or drag. Okay, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna be putting a, uh, a low pass, which is a high cut. Let me open this track up. Like I said earlier, so select, so just click on the parameter you want to automate like this, move it. This line shows up. I'm going to click plus. I'm also going to be adjusting the cue. I'm going to click that, click plus. So that way, if I move this, you see both of those lines moving. Okay. So then I I'm going to manually bring it down and have it raise up. It just gives it a bit more character. What I could do is, uh, let me see, I could just uh, EQ it like this real quick and it would be really like a quick easy lazy version but that might feel a little sterile maybe you want to add a little bit more character to it you can do this with with any parameter it doesn't have to be just a filter all right so make sure automation arm at the top here is on I like to arm the track and then unarm it. Basically, it makes sure that nothing else, none of your other tracks are armed. It's not going to overwrite something else that you have set to record. Maybe you just recorded a vocal or some other instrument. Just make sure that nothing else is recording. Just automation arm is on. So if you change an automation, it's going to adjust. Okay. I'm going to play a bit before and then I'm just going to move and it's going to uh, automatically record it in. So it's a little bit different, a little bit more character or a little bit different of a slope going up than I would have by just drawing like that Nike down up kind of deal. Okay, so all I did was press space bar and then click this uh, record at the top and then it's ready to go. It's armed and ready to record. All right. Let me see. Okay, so... Real quick, one last thing on this section I want to talk about is uh, gain staging. 